Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Alpha Automation and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this training video, I'm gonna walk you guys through and really just show you step by step how to set up a bump offer uh, inside of Kartra. So, and, and what is a bump offer? Okay, so a bump offer is where, let's say you're offering one product, but you also have another product um, that's a really good companion product for this product uh, that you'd like to offer your customers. And so let's say somebody's on the Checo page, they're gonna buy you know, product A, let's say it's consulting, uh, but you also have a, a mini course you know, that you'd like to offer them at a reduced price. Okay, obviously you can also sell the mini course on its own, but you wanna add it in as a bump offer. And many times you'll see this, you know, um, and if you bought things online, you probably know about this, that's why you wanna get it set up. Uh, but you can set up your main product, they wanna buy it, and then usually below, uh, once they hit that final checkout button, you'll see like a little arrow pointing down, there'll be a little checkbox that people can check mark. And from there, they'll be talking about this extra thing uh, that you can add on to your order. Okay, so that, that's what we call a bump offer. And I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up. Now, a bump offer is, is kind of similar to an upsell, okay? Um, slight difference, you know, with the main offer, okay? And, and you can bump and kind of add something to that, to that main offer, that's a bump. An upsell would be where they actually make the purchase on that first product, and now they're brought to a second page, okay, kind of like a thank you page, where you're talking about a whole nother product. And then if they wanna buy it, that means they bought your upsell. So slight difference between the bump and the upsell, but either way, you can set these up uh, quickly and easily uh, for your business inside of Kartra. And it's a fantastic way, because the best time to sell somebody something is when they're already buying something from you. Okay, so they're already in in the, in the mental zone of buying from you. They, they you know they pass all the thresholds to pull the trigger and buy. That's a great time to offer them something else. Okay, so let's walk you through that. So here in Kartra, you're gonna click over here where it says My Products. And so here inside of Kartra, we already have a couple of test products that we've already set up in previous videos. And, and again, if you need step-by-step -step help, you know, building out an entire automated sales funnel, we actually created an entire video series to show you step-by-step -step how to do that. And so there'll be links to those videos below this video here. So if you need the walkthrough on how to set up a main product, you know, we, we did that so you, you could follow that video step-by-step. Um, but we already have a couple products already made. We had created a product for consulting, you know, offering a consulting call to somebody. And then also we set up a little test um, uh, mini course about lead generation. Okay, and again, these are just test products. And But what we're going to do is we're going to create a bump offer for our consulting. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to offer the mini course as a bump to anybody that wants to uh, purchase consulting from us. Okay, so here's how you would do that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the, um, the, the, the product that I wanna use as a bump. Now, if you didn't have it already set up, you'd have to go through the process of creating that product, okay? And you would then um, just set it up as a bump offer, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and just clone the mini course since we've already created this. I'm gonna go ahead and click over here where it says edit, and then I'm just gonna clone it, okay? And here inside of the clone, and we're going to uh, name this the bump, okay? We'll call this the bump, <laughs> okay? And so we can use this as an upsell or a downsell. This, so this, this, this particular uh, product that we're creating isn't to be used as a main product because many times, you know, if you're offering it as a bump, you're not going to charge the same price point. Okay, um, if I was selling the mini course standalone, sure, I might be selling it for 97, but when I'm using it as a bump, like they're buying consulting from me from a, for a certain price, and I wanna offer them this product, I might wanna give them a, an instant discount if they, if they grab the course as well. So you wanna set up a whole new product for that, so that way you don't have to worry about setting up coupon codes and things like that. So instead of making this a main product, we're gonna make this an upsell or downsell type product and we're gonna add it to the consulting. It's gonna say which funnel, okay? And that's where it's, where it's talking about which product are you gonna be adding this as a bump to, okay? And so we're gonna be adding this as a bump to anybody that wants to get our consulting. So let's go ahead and click that, and then we'll click next. And 
And from here, we're gonna it's gonna load up the product builder. And again, if you haven't seen this already, you know, click the links below after this video, you can click the links below to review uh, setting up a product inside of Kartra. And, and all the steps are exactly the same now, uh, except that we've just changed it to where we're, we're, we're treating this product as a bump or an upsell. So the basic info, since this is already a product that we would already set up, we can leave the basic product details the same. We can click save and next. From there, we get into the price. Okay, so what we had for, if somebody was buying the course standalone, we were gonna sell it for $97. But since we're using this as a bump, you know, let's knock down the price a little bit. You know, they're already buying consulting from us and I believe we were charging 147 uh, for the consulting call, so they're already paying that. You know, from there, let's give them a discount here. You know, they can get this course for 67 as a bump. Okay, so we're gonna knock the price down by $30. Okay, I'm gonna click save. And then from there, everything else will be pretty much the same from your main product. So I can click save and next. We're gonna leave all that the same. As far as the context of the um, of the bump, you know, you're gonna set up a thank you page for your bump offer. So wherever it is you want them to land after they've made this purchase. And so, and since we're gonna be, and so now since we're gonna be using this as a bump offer, you're still gonna want them to go to the same thank you page that they would go to from your primary offer. And again, we're offering the consulting. And so from there, whatever your thank you page is for your consulting, you would wanna have this thank you, you'd wanna have that page here as well. So that way they're not uh, going to the uh, thank you page for the bump offer. We want them to go to the thank you page for the main offer. Okay, so make sure that this, what you have in here is the same thank you page as what you're using for your main product, okay? And so we'll leave it at, we'll leave it at, we had it at Google, because again, these are just test products. Okay, then you're gonna go to the checkout, and you're gonna ask for all the same information here as if they bought the product from you, okay? And you're not gonna add a bump to this particular offer, okay? So we're gonna save in next here. Uh, we're gonna leave all, the, and actually, let me go back, okay, because we gotta change the billing terms. Okay, so inside of here, everything's gonna be basically the same, except for this right here. Okay, since we knocked down the price, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that that reflects in the billing terms, okay? And so if you ever did wanna offer the standalone, like let's say uh, you know you wanted to offer it in a different scenario, you wanna make sure that this, this price in here reflects exactly what they're paying for this bump, okay? And so let's click save here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and click save. And so now after they've made the purchase, what do you want to have happen? And this is where you take care of what's gonna happen post sale. So when they do purchase this particular product, yes, we wanted to add them to our main list. We um, had in here already that we wanted to tag them that they actually purchased the course. And then from there, we want to give them access to the course. And again, we created um, a digital course as well. And again, uh, you know, the link to that video is below this video. So check those links out if you're, again, looking for that step-by-step -step training on how to get set up with Kartra and build out an entire automated sales funnel uh, with a membership website, with a digital course. You know, we went through and, and we did all of that. So look for those links below this video here for more training. Um, but yeah, we got that all set up. So let's click save and next. And we're not gonna worry about any affiliates here uh, for offering the bump offer, so we're just gonna click save and next. And so now we're done. Okay, so what we've done is we've created a new product to use as a bump offer to our main product. And so you can see it here, right? But there's one more thing that we need to do before it'll actually be made available as a bump offer for our consulting. We have to make an edit inside of our main product. So let's go ahead and edit the test consulting here. And I'm gonna to go to edit product, and then we're gonna go next, okay? And there's one thing that we need to change in here, okay? So our consulting is all good to go, okay? So we don't need to necessarily change this product. We just need to change one setting here, and it's gonna be in the checkout section. Okay, so again, this is where we're offering the one-on-one -on -one consulting. We're gonna click save and next. Um, we don't have to change the pricing, okay? We're offering the consulting call for 147 for a one-hour consultation with you. 
okay the contents will be the same and again you would want to have your product page in here we just had it labeled as google but your main product page is just the page that you're actually um, describing your consulting and actually selling your consulting okay and then the thank you page would be the page that they land on after they make the purchase okay so again we have it labeled as google but you want to set up a thank you page that they land on and in this scenario uh, where we're offering consulting you may want to have a page with a video and then a, a, a button or a link that they can click where they can access your calendar so they can go ahead and book the strategy call with you okay but again we're going to leave that as such and we're going to keep going and this is the part where we're going to actually add the bump okay and so scroll down here and all this we're leaving the same, but notice down here, there's a section for bump offers. Okay, right now we have it off. So we're gonna click change, and we're gonna activate this bump offer, okay? And so I'm gonna click yes, and there are some limitations to the bump. Uh, the number one limitation to this is that you cannot use PayPal as a form of payment for your bump, okay? Because when you're using a bump offer, what it's gonna wanna do is it's gonna wanna process the same, uh, the same payment type um, for uh, the bump. And then we scroll down here and you can see we wanna switch this on to activate the bump offer. And so now we gotta fill the rest of this out. So it's gonna ask us which product funnel, okay? So test consulting and which product from that funnel is we had our lead generation course bump. Okay, so select that from the list and there was only the one price point that we set up for that bump, $67. And now check this out, okay? So it's adding something that looks like this. And if you've uh, been on any other marketing uh, purchase sites, you perhaps have seen something like this where there's a little arrow, there's a little checkbox. Okay, and so far, and so what this says here is, you know, upgrade my order, download my you know, winning ebook, how to chop onions like a professional chef for $5 more, right? And so what we're doing is we're offering a lead generation course here. So I could put yes, um, you know, I could put something like this, need more leads, okay? And I could put in here, get my lead generation course today at a discount discounted price okay I could, I could just leave it as something like this so need more leads for your business or need more leads for your business okay need more leads for your business get my top, you know get my top rated uh, get my top rated lead generation course today at a discounted price okay and you have the option here to you know change this up if you know if you wanted to use you know a different color where they can check mark the, the little circle and here's another option here you know kind of like this one okay and you have the ability to have you know you can get rid of the little uh, shopping cart if you want to you can leave it on the bouncing arrow you can get rid of that if you want to as well we're gonna leave it and so that's all we need to do here so now the little the the secondary product that we created um, we have now added that here and we're gonna use it as a bump and then we're gonna scroll up here and we're gonna click save okay and then from there we're just gonna click save and next okay everything else we can leave exactly the same okay so we can leave this here leave this here and I'm just going save and next all the way through because everything else can stay exactly the same, okay? And so now what we wanna do is let's load up the page and test this, okay? And, and we did add a little page here. Let's jump into, uh, I opened up a new tab here for my pages. And let's go ahead and load up the page where we were selling the consulting. And so here's our test consulting product page. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a click and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the code or the link Okay, and so here was our page link for this. And I'm gonna put that in a new tab and load it up here. And so this is where they'd have the ability, and again, uh, again, this is just a sample page. We're not actually selling consulting on this page. But uh, in a previous video, we showed you kind of how to configure this. So that way we set it up to where they can actually purchase the consulting from a click of this button. So we're gonna give it a click. Okay, and so here's where they'd have the ability to go ahead and purchase your consulting. They click continue, okay? They fill in all their info, they click continue. 
And now here is where we see the bump. Okay, so they have the ability to go ahead and buy your consulting from you, but as well, you know, if they need more leads for their business, right? If you're offering a course like this, uh, the, all they would have to do is check mark this right here. And from there, um, they'd fill in the rest of their, fill in their payment info. They would check mark the box right there. And this additional add on product or this bump offer is going to be added to their order. They're going to agree to the billing terms for um, the uh, consulting. And as you can see, the price, it's now added. You know the consulting we were offering for 147 okay and now it's added the 67 for the course as well and so this would be what they would pay once they process uh, click this button okay so there we go guys that's how you add a bump offer you'd want to go ahead and take these steps to uh, create that product again if you haven't already created the bump offer you'd have to create the product uh, from scratch if it's already a product that you're using and now you just want to use that same product as a bump uh, you would create a separate product for that if you're going to be offering at a different at a, at a lower price point you know most of the time you know that's what you're going to do when you're offering a bump so that way they're getting a deal you know, maybe they've seen your course and they've seen it at the main price and like okay that is actually a deal it's thirty dollars off you could even say that in the notes you'll know, get you'll get this at a discounted price thirty dollars off today when you add it to your order you could label that right in here if you want to okay but uh, bottom line is you know this is a great way to increase your revenue by adding a bump offer to your main offer because again the best time to offer somebody something to purchase is when they're already purchasing something from you okay so hopefully you guys found value in this training in this step-by-step -step walkthrough again if you're new to Kartra and you don't already have Kartra yet and you're wanting to use it uh, inside of your business um, click the link below this video you can get yourself a one dollar 14 day trial to Kartra and you can give this thing a test drive this is the most powerful software on the planet uh, to run your entire business you don't have to have five six seven different tools uh, anymore to run your business okay you can run it all using Kartra so again if you don't already have it click the link below this video and again if you're looking for step-by-step -step training on how to set up an entire automated sales funnel using Kartra from there sign up for your trial and from there click the links below this video and you can go through all the videos step by step and you'll be up and running in no time using Kartra inside of your business that's all for this video, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next training.